Have you ever seen an email address in the TikTok description and wondered how you could scrape it for several users? Well, in this video, I will show you how to find several users who post about the same topic, how to get their name, their description, and how to extract the email from the description in a CSV file. So if you're interested in seeing how to do it, keep watching. Okay, so the first step to build our email scraper is to install this unofficial TikTok API. So it's not the official one from TikTok, but uh, it will work for a project. So you should go ahead and copy paste this code and then uh, use your terminal to install uh, the TikTok API. So you would just copy paste this and uh, install it. So I already done it, so I won't do it uh, in this tutorial. I will just go ahead and create a new Python file. So TikTok email scraper.pi. Okay, so let me, I'm going to open my, my new Python file. There we go. So uh, now we can go ahead and begin to build our scraper. So what's interesting about this um, API is that there's a lot of examples provided by the API creator. So today we're going to use this one, the get TikToks by hashtag. So you can go ahead and just copy paste this code to get started. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, uh, so even if uh, this code is almost ready, we still need to tweak it a little bit to uh, make it work. Um, so here what's missing is uh, we need a specific TikTok cookie because uh, if we don't, then uh, we will have the TikTok captcha, the one that TikToks ask uh, when a new users uh, sign up. So what we're going to do is that we're going to add this uh, verify fp cookie and to find it what you're going to do is that you're going to go back to chrome you're going to go to tiktok it doesn't matter if you're signed up or no you're going to go to the inspector then application then cookies and you're going to look for the verify cookie so there it is then you're going to copy and paste it and enter it here then uh, what we're going to do is also change the, the API call so we are going to go ahead and add the well the verify FP uh, to the API call and we're also going to add this use test endpoint for it to work. Finally, uh, I'm not really interested in the hashtag funny, but I would rather have, um, let's say we want to find people who post about Excel, for example. So let's replace it by the hashtag Excel. And for the count, uh, I don't want to get too many TikToks, so I'm going to maybe get, let's say five. So, okay, so now we save. And then we go back to the terminal and I am going to run the code and let's see what we get. So as you can see, we are getting a lot of um, information from the five uh, first TikToks that uh, use the actual Excel, we're getting the description, we're getting the duration, we're getting the ratio uh, and many things. But what we are looking for is the description because what we are going to do to scrape the email is that we're going to look to the descriptions and then uh, scan it to see if uh, there are emails and then extract them. So here, let's just take a look. What is the description? Okay, there it is. So it's called signature. So let's just go ahead and see uh, if we have it for all of the TikToks. So as you can see, we have it here. Though. Perfect. But here there's no email. And we have it here as well. And there's an email. So our job is going to be to uh, extract this information 
and then among this to only get the email and uh, i would say that i would also like to get the name of um well the account so let's look for the name of the account as well there it is it's called unique id okay so what we're going to uh, try to retrieve is the unique id and uh, the signature so just want to take you, you to take a look at how the data is um, organized so if you're uh, already familiar with python you probably have recognized that this is a dictionary and uh, so with uh, this is a dictionary with nested fields so what we are going to get is first so the author um, field and then in the author field we're going to go and retrieve the unique id and the signature so let's go ahead and write the code so here as we've seen uh, what we are looking for is the uh, user id field or the unique id field sorry and the signature so this will uh, get us the description and the username of the user so to retrieve this information we're going to change the code and add this part so what it does is that uh, this will be this will allow us to retrieve those fields in the dictionary so as um, you've seen before uh, the unique id and the signature fields were nested in the author field so that's why we are using this syntax so author point get unique id so this is not the only thing you need to do instead of printing the tiktok uh, because printing the tiktok gets us the entire um well, all the fields, and we don't want that. We're going to create a new uh, list. So let's call it data. I have this data, uh, this data uh, list, and as you can see here, it's empty. And what I'm going to do is that I'm going to add those fields, so username and user description, to the data list. So just copy paste. So I have the code already written. Uh, just be careful when you copy code that you respect the right indentation because uh, if the indentation is not correct it won't work so that's why i have to go back and make sure that it's still on the because right now as you can see uh it's not in the right um it's not at the right level it should be at the same level as the for uh loop so i'm going to go ahead and make sure that it's the case Okay, so now it works. And uh, so here I just have to add the right users before I had it call it username. So here, um, let me change this. So the username is going to be, well, the username and the user description is going to be the user description. And now instead of printing the TikTok, we're going to print the data. So let's go ahead and save this. Okay, so let's go ahead and try the code again to see if it works. So Python Okay, perfect. So as you can see now uh, we have well the username and the user description. So now this is uh, better, but I would still like to have the email in a separate column uh, because here, as you can see, it's still in the user description. So let's go back to our code. And what we are going to do is that we are going to uh, import um, a library that uh, allows us to use regular expressions. Import, oops, import me. And this is going to allow us to use a regular expression to uh, find the email and extract it. So uh, I'm not going to explain what regular expressions are in this video because it will take a long time to, um, to do so. But I will include uh, some resources in the description if you want to learn more about how uh, regular expressions work and how you can uh, use them uh, in your code. So here, I'm going to use the find all uh, function for the email. And again, let's respect the right indentation. And so what this is going to do is that this string is a regular expression that matches with 
an email. And so here, what I'm, what I want to do is that for the email variable, if you find something that matches an email in the user description variable, I want you to extract it. So now the last thing we have to do is to uh, go ahead and uh, just copy the email. I mean, add the email in the list. Email. Okay, so let's try it again and see uh, what we get. Perfect. So here, uh, as you can see, when there's no email in the description, well, uh, well, the, the, the email field is empty. But when there's an email in the description like this, the email is extracted as uh, we need. So we're almost done. The only thing we need to do now is that, uh, so since we're scraping a hashtag, uh, there's a several chances that you will um, get several users that used uh, the same hashtag in um, several videos. So we're going to have to remove the duplicates. And uh, this is nice, but I don't, I cannot use um, the data in the terminal as is. So I'm going to uh, have to save uh, this data in a CSV file so that I can use it in Excel or in Google Sheets. So let's go ahead and do this to uh, finish the job. Uh, okay, so let's go back to um, our um, our code. So now what we have to do is import another library, uh, the Pendles library. So uh, what uh, this uh, library is going to do is that it's going to um, it's going to help us uh, save the file uh, as a CSV file uh, and uh, it's going to help us uh, remove the duplicates as well. I'm going to get, do this because I need to get out of the for loop uh, for this to work. So that's why I'm breaking the for loops. And I'm going to copy paste this. So here what it does is that basically, so I have a variable called df uh, for data frame and uh, I'm going to take the data list and turn it into a pen data frame. Then I'm going to take this data frame and turn it into a CSV file that's going to be called TikTok email scraper. And then I'm going to um, take the data frame and remove the duplicates. Uh, so here, uh, the column that's going to uh, be used to evaluate the duplicate is going to be the username column. So that's why it's in subset. I'm going to keep the first the, the first um, uh, well instance of uh, the world. So let's say if there's a twice I don't know let's say Excel uh, friend, then we're only going to keep the first row that has Excel friend, and then uh, this parameter in place is uh, going to be used to make sure that. Um, the, the, the duplicates are going to be removed in the same data frame and not in the copy of a data frame. And finally, uh, when uh, it's done, I just want uh, to print the saved file, so just to uh, know when it's done. So let's go ahead and save the file and try to run it. So TikTok email guy. So let's go ahead and open the file. So as you can see, uh, our file is ready. We have all the information we need. Uh, whenever there's an email, uh, it's extracted uh, in the email column. And so here we only have five uh, users and it's because that's what we chose in uh, the code. But if you want to have more, all you have to do is well, go back to the code and change the count variable. If you want a hundred, it's possible. If you want a thousand, it's possible. So uh, you can just change this variable to get the number of records you need. And if you also want more fields, uh, what you need to do is so go back to the terminal, uh, check the fields available. Then for example, let's say if you also want to get the user uh, profile picture, for example, you can just go ahead and um, 
come get the variable that uh, is the profile picture. In this case, it's avatar uh, thumb. So thank you so much for watching. Uh, if the video was helpful, uh, please let me know in the comments and like, share or subscribe and tell me what you want to see next. I will put a code in the description box so that you can copy and paste it for your own needs. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.